Hello, my crafty friends. How are you? This is Lori Girl on the Ridge with a semi-clean desk and envelope I was working on. I have to say, I have to get this off my chest, my little rant. Um, I did a video earlier and I, I couldn't show it because I was crying. And I know I'm not alone in this. Um, the world is crazy. It's sad. It's heartbreaking. And we all feel the same kind of pain be on top of the pandemic and not being able to go out of the house. It's almost too much. <laughs> I couldn't. I woke up with a headache and I just, uh, it's just almost too much. However, we, <clears throat> we have to keep it together. We have to pull ourselves together. And I know a lot of you are, you know, housebound anyway, and it, it's overwhelming, but um, the best way to get over, or not to get over it, to carry on through the day, I think take it day by day. I didn't want to do a craft that I normally do because sometimes it's automatic. I don't have to think, so I'm thinking of other things, and then I start crying again, and I don't know. I don't know. But I was working on this envelope with a um, lot of it. Um, Vintage laces from Esme shop. And then I got looking, I put it aside and I got looking at what is my biggest problem in my craft room. And the problem is these little tiny pieces of paper that go all over my floor and all over. So I went down to my basement and I made myself this little garbage box. It's an old, um, not really old cigar box i put legs on it because um oh years ago i was gonna make jewelry boxes i think so god knows where they came from in a little pull drawer and that'll set let's see if we can keep this going that'll set right here and then when i'm cutting it'll go right in there and then i can see gee, shoot <laughs> i can dump it in my garbage and then I went downstairs again. I said, well, I'm on a roll. I'm not crying, so let me continue on. So then I made another one. And this one just opens up, maybe. I didn't glue it shut. See, I have a habit of rushing things. And that'll try, probably be ephemera, because that will set on top of this. I can't show it. I'll put a picture in Facebook. And then... And then I made a third one. It, it was a skinnier one. And the print was kind of bright. So all I did is gesso it over with a um, clear gesso and some, what was it? I think it was, yeah, ground espresso ink. I just put a couple drops in the gesso. And again, I had these little things that did not want to stick. Of course, and then again, I didn't wait. I put glue on it, and then I started Mod Podging because that's how we do things. And then this, so I got the three of them setting on my table like this, and that made me happy. And that got me out of my mood because there's nothing I can physically or anything do right now to make anything better other than keep my mental health together. <laughs> So those were my, I'm going to call them my happy boxes. And I will let you know if I can keep this going and it won't be like, you know, the exercise equipment where you keep throwing clothes on it. If I keep throwing stuff in it and then when I try to go use it for garbage, I can't because it's full with ephemera. So I'm really going to try to keep this empty. I don't know who came up with this. The last person I seen do it was Genevieve, Genevieve Design. And I, I put it on my list. I don't know. I'm sure other people came up with it. Because I know I got the garbage bowl from Rachel Ray years ago in my kitchen. And I still use it. I love it. So I'm thinking something pretty to put my garbage in. So that's all I have to say, guys, for right now. I'll try to come back. I just, I, I might work on this. This is just going to be um, a journal. Everything that's going to fit in here. This is going to be a little fancier because I'm going to use a lot of my vintage laces. I have some laces that I'm coffee dyeing right now. And then the book is just going to be um, very decorated because I feel like a decorating mood. 
so I'm just I'm using all kinds of paper I'm just kind of I don't know I'm just winging it at this point using, oh that's what I want to show this is uh, Patty's um, Patty Lang's sermon paper that I had bought from her a while ago from the early 1900s I love that so that was I used some of the vintage pieces and that's what I'm up to so I'm hoping uh, if you are depressed I hope you guys just find something a little different out of the ordinary to do and that'll get your mind on something totally different just try not to dwell on it because that's it's easier said than done because that's what I was doing for a while and it's you can't do anything right now we can't do anything get, get out of our house can't even go to grad sales but that's a different story <laughs> I'm not going to get on that subject either. Alrighty, guys. So I will try to come back, but I don't know. Esmond Crafty Me Shop is having a sale 3 o'clock Eastern time. So you have to figure out your own time thing. If Because um, she didn't have it Friday, so she's having it today. So I am so looking forward to that. So I'm still in my pajamas. I am not leaving my room. I already told my husband I got a headache. <laughs> and I'm not leaving my room. <laughs> So, alrighty guys, so I hope, I hope nobody's in a really dark place. Just kind of talk to somebody if you need to, message me if you want to, and um, you can catch me right through Etsy is the easiest way, or I'll even put my email down. Just don't, don't, don't let it get the best of you, okay? Alrighty guys, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.